In this video, we're going to show you how to check your phases are correctly connected if you've got a three phase zappy, because obviously your CT clamps need to be connected to the right order. Now, this goes, R1 goes through two distribution boards and it may be someone swapped the phases over somewhere and then it can't regulate. Now, it's hard to test all three phases, but what we can do is we can set the we can set the zappy to a charge settings. We can set it to trick it into thinking it's a single phase. So if I go here and enter there, you'll see I've set it to one phase charging now. So now I know that this is, you can see I'm exporting 20 kilowatts. Um, the car's counting down. We've got the car plugged in. It will start charging in a minute. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into other settings and we're gonna, oh, hold on, I did that wrong. We're gonna go into other settings and then we're gonna go into advanced. There you go. And you're gonna enter your password, All right? And what we're looking for is we're gonna go into the CT configuration. And here, if we go down to readings, we can see the consumption or it will actually be export on each phase at the moment. So if I go there, so you can see on CT1, I'm exporting 10 amps, CT2, 29, CT3, 20. Now, this one looks low, so we're charging at the moment. So Ben, if you disconnect the charge, we should see more export coming. So this one, you see that's shot up now to 25 amps. So that was being greedy now we've got full export across all the phases so we know phase one is correct now how we check phase two and phase three i'm a little bit amused but at least i know i've got phase one correctly connected